मोपा विमानतळ बांधपाक शेतकारा कडल्यान घेतिल्ल्या जमनीचेरूय सरकाराचे फ्रॉड दिसून येता म्हूण आरोप काँग्रेसमॅन शांताराम नायकान केला लोकां कडल्यान खूप कमी दरान जमीन घेतल्या मात जमीन कायद्या अंतर्गत लोकांक बाजारभाव प्रमाण पयशे मेळपाक जाय म्हूण तो फुडें उलयला पणजेच्या नाडेक्स गोवा खातीर गौतम शिरोडकर on the issue of land acquired at mopa for the international airport earlier the land price which was calculated was at the rate of something like 25 to 30 rupees per square meter and the ground was given was that that was under 1894 land acquisition act and therefore the price was fixed that way 25 to 30 rupees per square meter now i would like to say that it is sonia gandhi congress president whose initiative led to passing of land acquisition act 2013 under which the aggregate price of land in villages has been four times the market value the land price at mopa is rupees 1500 per square meter prevailing market rent at mopa you have to multiply it by 4 and therefore the land losers of mopa are entitled to get compensation at the rate of 6000 rupees per square meter market price formula is there which is mentioned in the land acquisition act and under which you calculate that fraudulently the government says that this is not under land acquisition act 1894 just see you have to either give price under 1894 or give under 2013 but it should be under some land acquisition act they say the price that enhanced rate that we are giving is as per an administrative order and we will give the money only if funds are available only if budgetary provisions is made and get to the rate which i have mentioned to you they say 75 rupees per square meter therefore the spirit of land acquisition act 2013 has to be considered and four times the market value of the land has to be given to the land users number 2 what is mentioned when when it is mentioned i am again referring to three times thing three times the primary compensation they are referring to that order according to me is a fraud which is clear from the fact that government calls it an administrative decision and says that it does not emanate from any provisions of the land acquisition act so i repeat so this enhanced compensation of three times is not under any line of reasoning that is 1894 or 2013